All right, we have made it to Adam Sandoval's K River Campground here in Moyes, Oklahoma. Here's the entrance to it right here. You can see, let me come over here and show you the sign real quick. It's open year round, beer garden, tree houses, RV parks, cabins, ATV trails, kayaks, swimming, and there's Scootin' America van. I want to show you how we got in here because nobody ever said uh, this park was big rig friendly. And remember, we are rolling at 70 feet long with the Allegro bus and the trailer. So let me show you how we got in and how we got set up. We knew we were going to have a few tight areas to deal with, like here at the entrance where Bell and Andy's trailer is close to touching. But from our research, we felt confident we'd be all right even in a large rig. And over to the far left is where our site will be, but first we need to travel to the clubhouse to check in. Another tight spot where our trailer tires come close to the ditch. I'm gonna swing out a little wider while watching the tree limbs on the left, which could cause some significant scratches down the rig. Arriving at the clubhouse to check in, we were greeted by Adam Sandoval, who's the owner of the K River and the host for this weekend's event, the Stubborn American Rally. He is always gracious and made sure we were good to go and even had one of his staff to escort us to our site. So we basically circled the clubhouse, which again, in these 70 foot rigs was not a problem. Though I've sped up this section of the video, like always, slow and easy gets the job done. And that's the burnout pit, which we'll see more of a little later. As Andy and Bell roll into their site, we set up to the far right so we can enter ours. Again, watching out for any trees that might do damage to the rig. Okay, now that we've gotten set up, I wanna show you our site. This is site number 56. And as you can see, the RV and trailer both fit into this particular site. In fact, all the sites in this section appear to be about 70 feet long or even a little better. Here's a look from the front with a little sitting area out here. And over here, as you can see on the other side, it is full hookups. And that's Andy and Bell's coach who we've been traveling with for the past, oh, several, at least seven months or so. And you guys remember Desiree from Wind Road Therapy, perhaps. Uh, that's her Dodge and her Fury RV. She's been in some of our motorcycle videos and RV videos. The sites in this particular area are somewhat slanted. I didn't have any issues leveling, but Andy and Bell had to back their coach up so they could get level. Uh, which required them to drop their trailer across the way right over there. There it is. No big deal at all. Now that we're all set up, let's show you some of the festivities here at the Stubborn American Rally. The 
This weekend was filled with many events. One was arm wrestling, and it was intense, and the crowd loved it. And it wasn't just the men who got in on the action, the women did as well. And later, the slow ride contest. The object of this event is to be the last rider to cross the finish line without putting any of your feet down. Slow wins the day. And even Adam jumped in this contest. And before I forget, every event you see, the participants had to pay an entry fee, which is donated to charity. Then there was a keg roll. The object is to push your keg with your motorcycle across the finish line first. And obviously, the straighter you push it, the better. But much easier said than done, trust me. Then one of my favorites, the mini bike races. And these racers, man, they were intense as they chose their bikes and picked a helmet. The start line painted. And just like that, the green flag dropped and they were off in a cloud of dust. Number is, but it's going fast. Hey, go, hey. several wipeouts, but everyone made it through to race for another day. And the winner claims his trophy. As the second and third place finishers collect their prize. Yeah, $100 gift card and a, and a third place rib. And the final event for this video is the burnout contest. For this event, the first rider to shift into fifth gear after the light turns green wins. Fifth gear was chosen due to one of the bikes only having five gears.
Again, it wasn't just the men who participated. In fact, this young lady made it to the finals. Okay, so here's the deal. Because he had to go one more time than you, you guys are gonna do the best two out of three. All right? So you guys are gonna do this potentially three times if you each win one. Go ahead and start your engine. It's safe to say that everyone enjoyed the stubborn American rally here in Oklahoma. And congratulations to Adam Sandoval for another successful event here at the K River Campground. At the conclusion of the stubborn American rally, it was time to say goodbye to Andy and Bell of Bell's Rides. We've traveled together for some seven months and thousands of miles as they head to Texas and we head to Georgia. But we'll see them again soon. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. Until then, be well and stay safe.